So if you're just now jumping in, we added a lot of fun, uh, fun commands to the stream. All right, here we go. Let me look at my bread recipe. My daughter absolutely loves my bread that I make too. So there's a way I make, and you can find it on presentedlove.com. There's a way I can make a keto bread to taste like a red lobster cheddar cheese biscuit. And, and our daughter calls it cheesy bread. She absolutely loves it. So if you're wanting to follow along, you can go to presentedlove.com. Now I'm doing it a little bit differently than it's on there. There's like three different ways I make keto bread. Um, and even if you're not doing keto, there is some delicious ways that you can make bread at home uh, that I have on there. And it tastes really good. And it doesn't take that long, y'all. It doesn't take that long to make. All right, here we go. Let me pull up my recipe that I have on my website. Click on recipes. Let me scroll down. I still need to add some more recipes on there. Where's my bread? Oh yeah, guys, and if yummy, you like creamy yummy, sauce, yummy, you can try out my creamy garlic sauce too. Uh, pork chop recipe. Okay, there it is. There it is. Oh, thank you for doing that, Zero. So the one on my website is a garlic butter parmesan uh, cheese bread that I have on there. Um, you can make it uh, a couple of different ways. Um, you can even add bacon in there if you're wanting to. So with this particular um, bread recipe that I'm doing, you're going to need cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, three eggs, almond flour, baking powder. You can add bacon. You can do some Parmesan if you want to or Italian seasoning. I'm going to leave those out because there's a way I can make this to, um, to make it like a cheddar cheese red lobster biscuit. If you haven't had a cheddar cheese red lobster biscuit, it is fabulous. Absolutely.